Hello, yeah, so here at the zoo we um, we try and come up with many different ways to keep the animals um, cool in these temperatures. So one of them obviously providing lots of natural shade, uh, providing lots of cool things that they can utilise. Uh, but one of the things that we use most with our carnivores is um, frozen food or frozen treats if you want, a bit like ice lollies. So we prepare parts of their natural diet and then freeze it in water or other substances. Um, and then we can feed it out and they can spend time um, rolling on it, um, putting their body on it or um, actually licking and eating it as well. Uh, so we're going to feed our otters. Harry. Um, so we've got four... <laughs> yes? Sorry to interrupt, I saw the camera was just panning off there, but I wanted to ask you, we'll talk about the otters first then and I'll come back to you about the, your, your frozen lollipop. <laughs> So um, these are our four Asian short claw otters. Um, so naturally they'd come from very warm climates anyway. Um, so they're not quite as phased by the heat. Um, and they've also got a lovely big pool that they can go and call off in as well. Um, but you can see here there's some frozen water with some of their shellfish in. So it's got some crayfish and some razor clams. Um, <laughs> and that one's trying to get more food. but. Um, yeah, they'll spend time trying to kind of manipulate the items um, and they're obviously very cold, so that will help them. <laughs> they're such good value at a zoo, aren't they, the otters? They're so animated, especially when they're going around swimming. They're actually one of my favourite animals. I absolutely love otters, so I'm really pleased we managed to capture uh, feeding them just now. But I just want to go back to the ice lollies that you were talking about for some of your carnivores. I presume you're talking about big cats and the like. And Eamon uh, was explaining to me that that basically means frozen blood or frozen antelope or whatever it might be but I mean for, for animals when if someone was to serve me a, a frozen steak it wouldn't taste as good to me as the, as the usual form do they still like it when it's frozen yeah, so they still, um, to them it's still meat, it's just a, a little bit colder and a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, we give them lots of frozen blood. Um, we don't tend to freeze their meat quite as much, but we do keep it in the fridge so it's nice and cold. Um, but yeah, they'll spend hours kind of licking the blood from the um, kind of ice lollies essentially. Um, yeah, and as it's melting, they'll, they'll lick it up. Um, so yeah, they really enjoy it. Amazing uh, and obviously very enlightening to hear that the animals need your human help, Harry. What would you say to people who would say they survive okay in the wild, they look after themselves in the wild, it would be uh, they will find natural ways to keep cool, which obviously they, they would to a degree, but um, there's got to be intervention when we're talking about temperatures 35 degrees plus. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all or near, near enough all animals in captivity now are bred in captivity um, and we work a lot with European breeding programmes. So most of them are born, or a lot of them, especially in, obviously in Europe, are born within Europe. So they, they naturally acclimatise to, to our climates. And although they have the ability to cope with hotter temperatures, they're, they're not necessarily exposed to them. Um, so by providing these extra measures, it, it can really help and benefit. And obviously there's animals that aren't naturally naturally from these, these areas, um, so we do provide lots of extra measures for them as well. While um, you've got to do your job as well, so you and your teams, you look after yourselves in the blistering sunshine and of course the all important visitors, because yeah. without the visitors there wouldn't be a zoo. Yep, yeah, so we provide um, lots of, obviously, water. The staff here, I mean, one of our favourites is eating lots of ice cream, um, so that helps, but obviously keeping topped up on your sun cream and, and all of those measures as well. So, yeah, we, t we take very good care of the guests and the staff as well as the animals.